Welcome to State Television Campaign in Western Armenia, today's broadcast. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The trial Artsakh resident Rashid Beglarian has started in Baku. Eastern Armenia is ready to complete and sign the peace agreement within a month. Artsakh carpets with unique Armenian ornaments were presented as a historical memory of Baku. The event was dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Mugartitsarkh's birth. That have monastery complex and ropeway in the center of attention of international media. Artificial intelligence course was introduced in 16 schools of Eastern Armenia. Support Western Armenian television. On June 8, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenu Hisagian, presented the most important events of the previous week within the framework of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. In her speech, the Speaker referred to the speech on the parliamentary intervention made by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosian, in the connection with the need to celebrate the First Republic Day, citing the words of the President that the Armenian Day of the First State was not adopted on May 28, 1918, which is the day and announced by the declaration which has no value in international law, but from December 29, 1917, the day of the recognition of the independence of Western Armenia by a Russian decree. In her speech, the speaker referred to the activities that President Mr. Armenia Gabrahaman is carrying out who share with the issues of protection of genetic resources and the rights of displaced people from Artsakh at the United Nations in particular, saying, Mr. Armenia Gabrahaman continues to struggle for justice, taking significant steps and applying to the European Court of Human Rights on behalf of displaced residents of Shushi. This process involves their uh, preparation and collection of substantial evidence, a deep understanding of ethnic cleansing, genocide and international human rights law. Mr. President's application aims to create the issue of protection of displaced persons, thereby not only solving the immediate needs of displaced natives, but also strengthening the global framework for the protection of human rights, starting with the genocide against native Armenians in Western Armenia. And despite the long and often difficult legal processes, Mr. Abrahamian continues to exert his individual during efforts, thus not only demonstrating his commitment to the Republic of Western Armenia, but also a beacon of hope for both Armenian around the world and the people forcibly displaced in the recent years. In her speech, the Speaker of the Government also spoke about the speeches made at the session of the Western Armenian Government and the National Assembly. The speeches of Vatan Simonian, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia, and Guillermo Karamanian, Ambassador Plenipotentiary of Armenia to Argentina. Ms. Sahakian also spoke about the second session of the first convocation of the National Assembly, Western Armenia National Assembly, held on June 3. The trial of Artsakh resident Rashid Beglarian has started in Baku, and he was charged with illegally crossing the border as well as with the Khojalu genocide case. To remind last year on August 1, it became known that Baku border guards arrested 61-year-old Rashid Beglarian, citizen of the Republic of Artsakh. He got lost from the village and ended up in the territory controlled by Baku. The enemy detained the Artsakh resident in November 2023. Eastern Armenia is ready to complete and sign the peace agreement with Baku within a month. This was reported by the press of the Foreign Ministry of Eastern Armenia. The peace agreement between Armenia and Azerbaijan is mature enough to be signed, the message was said. To remind, our country responded to Baku's latest proposals regarding the peace treaty for the ninth time on June. Recently, Baku's policy of appropriating Armenian heritage has been activated on various international platforms in the form of exhibition, lectures and scientific hearings. This time we are talking about Azerbaijan carpets opening in Riga, the capital of Latvia. It is about the exhibition entitled Genetic Code of Memory. The Monument Watch platform words about this. Artsakh carpets with their unique Armenian ornaments and designs are presented as the traditional carpet making culture of Baku. The signs, images of animals and birds, patterns and beliefs in the carpets were used in the Armenian carpet, weaving culture and have a centuries-old history. The exhibition was initiated by the Embassy of Baku in Latvia. It is dedicated to the 14th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Baku and Latvia, which further emphasizes the state orientation of the event. The samples repeat the Artsvag Gorg from the carpet making center of the Armenian feudal power of Jirabert Artsakh, the Ortan type carpet from Sunik and Nakhichevan Gokhtan provinces, as well as the Shirvan carpets. The main decorative motif of Artsvag Gorg is the eagle. It is one of the personification of the winged son of Urartian Khaldi deity Zorastrian Ahurar Mazda. This iconography of the winged sun has been known in Armenian art since ancient times and finds its expression also in the late medieval Armenian carpets of Artsakh Sunik. The platform considers it important to note that the exhibits are 
the products of Bacchus Azerhalcha, Azerhalcha company, which is the only carpet producer there. And this is an indicator of the fact that the creation of collections with copies of Artsakh ornaments were created by the factory is directed, monopolistic, and under state patronage. It is even more dangerous that the exhibition also has a tendency to erase Armenian through educational program, the proof of which is the lecture held in the same museum, during which Shushi was presented as the century old culture capital of Baku. Back in 2021, Baku submitted documents to UNESCO to include Shushi as an Azerbaijan city in UNESCO Creative Sites Network. In addition, Baku declared our Armenian Shushi culture capital of the Turkish world in 2023. The Armenian platform emphasized that Baku, distorting the historical facts, neutralized the real heritage tradition, depriving it of its authenticity. It violates the principle of authenticity of heritage accepted by UNESCO because, according to the document adopted in Nehra in 1994, the knowledge that is the basis of heritage must be true and reliable, it must be preserved with reliable information. The world's longest ropeway, Tatevne, the monastery complex of Tate, which is considered one of the important cultural and enlightenment centers, same in the focus of the international media this week. While using the ropeway, the international journalistic group had the opportunity to enjoy the view of the Vorotan George, the spectacle flight over the Devas Bridge and the Tatev Great Desert, the last stop of which is the Tatev Monastery complex built in 9th century. After the flight, the journalistic group made a tour of the Tatev Monastery complex, got acquainted with the history, its role in the development of Sunik, interesting facts, figures and events of the region. And after the flight, the guests also discovered the secrets of Armenian cuisine, the taste and smell of traditional dishes. Tatevne being the longest, 5,752-meter reversible cable car in the world has twice been recognized as the best in the world according to the prestigious World Travel Awards. A solemn event dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the birth of Magarty Sarkisyan, novelist, poet, national public figure, laureate of the USSR and NKR State Awards, was held in the hall of the Writer Units of Armenia. A video about him was shown on singer Masis Hahunanyan, Rishit Targayan M. Samvelyan, actress Ruzana Hachnazadyan of the State Academic Theatre, named after Sundukyan, and students of the Sayat Nova Marching Song Ensemble gave beautiful performances. Let me remind you that on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the poet's birth, events were held at the Yerevan State University, Vanadzor, Hrazdan and other cities. A selection of 100 poems by the writer was also published this year and by the decision of the Yerevan Council of Elders on May 14, the 14th street of Kanaker, Kanaker Zeytun and the administrative Deistev was named after Mokartic Saksyan. Artificial intelligence course was implemented in 16 schools of Eastern Armenia, and this was reported by the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sport during the discussion of the annual report on the implementation of the budget at the joint session of the NA Standing Committees. According to the Minister, in this sense, our country is one of the first countries in the world that already has such a program at the school level. National television Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and views, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as topics that raise various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear viewers, with your support, the possibilities of our television will expand and strengthen even more. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.